Hey, what's up everyone? Time for another character discussion video, and this time we are focusing on Doflamingo, aka Dolphy. So Doflamingo is one of the few characters in the game that can use Conqueror as hockey. And just like the others, this allows him to basically make up his own combos. And just so, so you understand how it works, Conqueror's Hockey is activated by R1, and if the person is in hit stun, activating it will cause them to stagger even more, allowing you to confirm hits or even into supers. So, basically, what it would look like uh, if you do if you do it right, it would cause them to suffer a little bit more hit stun, allowing you to recover from whatever attacks you were currently doing. And then, as as you stagger them more with the Conqueror's Hockey. You can go back in and do more. So, like, just a small little something, something like that. You, know, you can make up you know, make up your own stuff, pretty much. Doflamingo makes a clone of himself that attacks the opponent whenever you press triangle and down triangle. The ranges and properties of both the attacks are very different, so keep in mind which one you're doing. Down triangle is a close range attack that you could use to stop your opponent's approach, but triangle hits everywhere. It doesn't have a set distance or anything like that. It, ha it is a really good attack against characters that would want to zone you out, or you could use it to bait the opponent into walking around and dropping their guard so that you could go in with a dash attack. At close range, you could even use both of them together since down triangle actually activates a little bit faster than triangle does. So this is triangle, and this is down triangle. You can see the difference here, like this one is way closer. And this one's like further out. But if you're close up like this, like say around here maybe. I mean you probably wouldn't really use it around here, but no, just just say for instance you do it. So you could do triangle and down triangle and it would actually like combo like that. But I doubt that there would actually be a time where you'd use it like that. Doflamingo's L1 triangle is a mid-range attack where he does ever white. And if the opponent is standing on the ground, it catches them. It can be jumped out of, so be careful when using it. And this is what it looks like. And because of the fact that it knocks the opponent back, it can also be used to tag into your teammate. Um, there's only one way that I know of that you can actually combo into this move, and that's by doing down triangle into Everwhite. L1 square is overheat. It is a long range attack that is a good neutral tool and also a combo ender. If you press and hold R1 when you do the attack it increases the damage by a little bit and also lowers the, co the moves combo proration. Now what I mean by this is that if you were to do the move and try to combo after it normally the opponent would fall out really quickly. But if you apply R1 you can actually continue the combo with other things. So this is L1 square, overheat. Now if you were to do this in a combo, and let's just say for instance like you try to hit them a little bit more afterwards, like they would just fall out. But if you were to apply hockey to it, and then try to do more stuff, like it actually would work. So they wouldn't fall out of whatever you would do afterwards. L1 circle is parasite string. Doflamingo holds the person's body still with a string, and there are two things that you can do from this. While holding L1, you can press square or circle, and he does additional attacks. Square calls in the opponent's teammate and forces them to attack for you, and circle is an attack where Doflamingo launches the person into the air and shoots them while they're, th while they're up there. One thing you should remember is that the attack the opponent's teammate does is the exact same one as their light guard break. So keep in mind who they have on their team because sometimes the square option isn't worth it since some characters like Aokiji for example have guard breaks that push people away and knock them down. So this is what L1 circle looks like. Um, he holds them like this and if you do circle, I mean square, calls him the person's teammate. And if you do circle, he throws them to the air and shoots them while they're up there. For a special movement, Doflamingo channels his inner Spider-Man and flings himself around using his strings. You can control this very freely and it can be even done in the air. He can even attack after using it when done in the air too. So this is what it looks like on the ground and this is what it looks like when you do it in the air. Um, he can attack from the air and it, like he can move every direction while he's doing it. 
Doesn't matter. Like you can literally just fly, like fly around in circles while you're doing it. It's really good. Doflamingo Super is a little on the slow side in terms of when it actually hits. The Super goes through the animation of strings surrounding the opponent and then they get caught. Because of the fact that Doflamingo is a Conqueror's Hockey user, his combos can vary depending on what you feel comfortable with doing. So I'll show you some of the easier things that you can do first. You can do something very simple like 4 squares to L1 circle, 4 squares activate hockey to heavy guard break, or you could even do something like 4 squares activate hockey, 4 squares to L1 square. So this is 4 squares to L1 circle. You can do whatever you want, square or circle, doesn't matter. Now, 4 squares, heavy guard break, and 4 squares. I cannot force square L1 For the more damaging and timing strict combos, you'll be utilizing what I said earlier about holding R1 while doing L1 square. There are a few different ways that you can combo from this. What you want to do after you hit with overheat is step forward, activate hockey, and then attack. It might take you a couple of tries before you get it right, but it's easy once you understand. So a combo using this would look something like four squares, overheat, step forward, Press R1, L1 circle, and then square or circle, whichever one you choose. The most damaging combo from this simple hit would be um, four squares, overheat, step forward, press R1, four squares, overheat again. Now you can choose whether or not you want to use whatever little gauge of your ability meter that you have on that last overheat. Um, I would suggest that you don't so that you can actually hold on to whatever you have left so that your meter will recharge faster because once it gets depleted it charges up really slowly and when you get a hit again you you might not have it when you want it so four squares overheat one circle so whatever you want after that and then the other one four squares overheat Step up, do it again, and that's it. It's really simple once you understand. You just have to practice it at least a couple times before you can actually get the timing down right. From a dash attack, you'll want to do overheat first and then finish the combo as if you were doing the second part of the combos from earlier. So dash attack, overheat, and then simple. Simple. Now, when comboing with the super, you can take any of the combos that I previously showed you and apply that straight into the If you actually get it right, it will kill every single time. Um, but just like the other Conqueror Saki characters, Dolphy has a combo that he can do that allows him to activate burst mode and then super afterwards. I haven't really practiced the combo much myself, since I always go for combo into super the normal way. Always trying to get that kill. But I'll try to do it here so that you can actually see what it looks like. Yeah. So basically what I did was four squares, and then I did down square, Conqueror's Hockey to catch them before they got too high up, R3 to activate Burst, Conqueror's Hockey twice, and then R3 again to activate Super. It doesn't do a whole lot, but I guess that would be what you would go for when you got a character that you want to finish off real quick to in the, in the match. So, that's all I got for Dolphy. And as I said before, sorry about the wait. I was supposed to do the video about two days ago, but all I can say is two things. Work and Overwatch happened. So it won't be a stream tonight since I'll be playing Overwatch with the homies. 
Uh, but I'll be on top of it early tomorrow. I hope. Uh, for, for my next video, I want to do Smoker and Law at the same time. So until then, I'll see you guys later.